Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode. So you join me today because I had a bit of a problem. So with my SSDs, I was having problems simply because I had too many of them. So there might be information on this hard drive, there might be some information on that drive. And some of them are really, really fast and really good at what to do, but it was just a bit chaotic. So I needed to consolidate everything into one block. So I went on to SanDisk Professional, I ended up buying a load of stuff. So I bought card readers, docs, 22 terabyte, spin this Thunderbolt 3 hard drive, and this bad boy here. What we're gonna talk about today is the SanDisk Professional Mag enclosure and four terabytes. So now we have a place to consolidate all our information. So all our photographs, all our video in one absolute unit. Whereas before, with the SanDisk uh, SSD NVMEs, okay, they're really good like what they do, but my OCD-ness was kind of getting to me. So on a Mac, if you go, I like to sort out things by name, and then it goes into the information and it says exactly in alphabetical order, and then you unplug it, and you second you plug it back in with the old SSDs, they would just go back to the random places where they were and that would absolutely drive me mad. So that was another reason why I wanted to upgrade to the mag blade, okay? So I'm not gonna do an unboxing. There's probably other videos on YouTube that can waste your time on that. But look, what it does come into box is you get a 20 gigabyte a second cable. It's really, really good quality. And what I love about this is that it's actually color coded. So some of the other stuff, they're actually color coded to different colors for different cables. So as you can see in the back of it here, and just get it up here so it's blue as you can see and then you got your blue cable here that will plug into USB-C okay that then will plug into your computer or your dock or whatever you have connected to your computer so the mag blade and the enclosure come as one unit now you can buy them in just the enclosure on its own I think it comes in about 80 euros give or take and um, I'm open to correction on that one and what this actually does is it it helps enclosure the mag blade itself so you can put this on your camera and you can record directly from c log or whatever you want onto this ssd or you can just use it on out in the field when you're record or when you're editing and you can literally just plug your mag into this like so and bob's your uncle happy days now the build quality of the enclosure is really, really good. It's made of aluminium. You can feel that it's really tough, it's really strong. So it will also help dissipate the heat from the mag blade. So when you're recording or editing, so in case it gets too hot, it'll help get rid of that heat. So it doesn't get bogged down and get slow. Now, when you're taking out the mag blade, literally just slide it out and slide it back in. You can only put it in one way, so you can't get it wrong. Okay, as you can see, it gets locked here. So just straight in all right so this uh, ssd comes in a variety of sizes it comes in one two and four terabytes okay me myself I ended up buying the four terabyte so that way i can fit as much information on it as possible so all my videos and all my uh photographs that i'm working on at the time so these items do come with a five-year limited warranty which is really really good so like if there's ever a problem further down the line there's no problem sending it back to sandisk and i'm sure they'll replace it or give your money back or whatever I'm guessing our place. Now, one caveat, okay? As good as this is, and as amazing as it is, and how much I love it, okay? If you've got a new Ma M1 MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, okay, for some strange reason, they have decided to limit the speed of external hard drives. So you're only going to get 900, well, about a thousand megabytes per second on the computer read and write. Even though it is advertised for 2,000 megabytes per second, you're not going to get it, unfortunately, because they've decided to uh, bottleneck the speeds for some strange reason. Hopefully with a firmware update, maybe further down the line, or when the new M2 Max come out, they will alleviate this problem. So let's jump over to the computer and check the speeds out. Right, let's stick it into the computer with our 20 gigabyte a second cable into the front of the ProDoc 4. So I should pop up in a second now. And here we go, as you can see, Pro Blade. Uh, we can get a bit of information by pressing Command and I. And the capacity is four terabytes and available is 2.82. So let's X that off, okay? And we'll go to our Black Magic speed test. We'll press our wrench, select target drive, and straight down to Pro Blade, okay? You can press to open and start test. So as you can see, it's going at a really nice speed. 975 megabytes a second for write 
and our read speed is just coming in a small bit lower at about 9.15. And uh, if you want to leave that run for a small bit, the, the results do vary from time to time because it starts to heat up, but it's not going to vary much different. As you can see there, our right is now 981. So my thoughts overall for the Sandus Professional Series is really, really good. I'm delighted that I've kind of jumped into this kind of uh, branch of equipment because I needed to update kind of all my equipment and kind of get future proof myself to a certain degree the enclosure is not the only thing that i've got in the last few weeks like we have got the readers so we've got the pro reader cf express and we have the multi-card reader also okay i'll maybe do a video about them in a week or two okay we also have the 22 terabyte g drive which is an absolute beast okay i love it i have been to be able to store long-term information on that and what one of my favorite products that we've bought in more recent weeks is the ProDoc 4. Okay, this thing is absolutely amazing. It is a glorified card reader to a certain extent, but when you have the setup that I have, it really proves to be really beneficial for me. All right, so guys, if you liked the video, please do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see any future videos. And thank you very much for watching. Talk soon, bye.